all right what's going on guys so today this is more of a video ex extension towards my previous video talking about bad update and I'm gonna be talking about um, installing bad avatar and why I think everyone should switch over to that not to say bad update is like um, bad <laughs> get it bad but um, like a bad avatar is a way better improvement where you don't need to use rock band blitz and of course using rock band blitz you have to make sure you have to have no files of rock band whatsoever and that include all the dlc and just in case i removed um, my save files as well but with a bad avatar you can add all of your rock band files back to your console and most importantly you don't need rock band blitz to even use it so let me just show you what i'm finding here so here of course i'm gonna link it down below is a bad avatar what this does is just uses like an avatar that launches bad update and just works all in one like it works into your dashboard and you don't gotta do anything so of course I'm gonna link this down below and um, another thing you don't really need but it's kinda helpful um, it's just like uh, when you when you boot into bad avatar of course you see the XE on shackle page well what this does is it just like skips like it will show the page um, but it'll have like an auto skipper so you can set it to like skip it for like two seconds and it will just go to uh, Aurora and again non necessary but if you want to play online we're gonna be installing this stealth server called XB guard and um, yeah it's not necessary I am I'm mostly if you're just interested in playing like all your rock band DLC again download a bad avatar but if you want to play online you can continue with the XB guard tutorial slash walkthrough as I'm doing here so of course download everything so I will link all of these links down below you just click here to download there's a bad avatar I'm gonna be downloading this as well so I'm gonna download XE on shackle auto start and it again not necessary XB guard just click download.exe so once you have all of them downloaded let's go to our downloads and we can see we have all of them here I'm just gonna extract all the files okay uh, oh I already have a bad avatar I think yeah I already oh if I remember correctly I did try a bad avatar so I'm just gonna delete it as I already have it from previously so we just need to unzip these so uh, extract files okay and let's proceed to unzipping and adding the files to our bad update USB drive so here we go um, here we go I deleted bad avatar and um, we're gonna open bad avatar up and these are the files uh, I'm just gonna make an X uh, another window here so give me a second all right open another window here we go and uh, let's go back to a bad avatar file here it is and this is what you want to do so let's open the USB drive click all this and what you want to do is just delete all of these bad update exploit files they're not necessary just delete them now open up the bad update payload folder I also forgot to delete these two and now what you're going to do is just literally copy and paste all of this into your bad update USB drive next what we want to do is just go to the content and this is the avatar go to your content on your USB drag it into there and you're pretty much done with bad avatar now we're gonna, what we're going to do is download um, the Exion Shackle auto start so we're just going to extract it open it up and this is the default.exe so go to bad update payload folder and you know just as a safety precaution uh, I'm gonna back it up so it's gonna copy here and um, I'm just gonna place it onto my desktop here so just paste it here just as a precaution and then what you want to do is just grab from the folder and just drop it onto here and replace it and we're done with that so now let's download the XB Guard Proto server. So just uh, unzip the files. Okay. And we're just gonna delete out those zip files. Open it up and click the USB folder. So so here we go, we have the files, but as just a safety precaution, uh, I just recommend you just back it up just in case, you never know. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is just literally drag all these files, replace them, and we got the stealth server ready to go. As you can see, um, here are the plugins, all ready to go. So now let's head over, over to the console. Okay, so here we go. We're starting up the 360, and 
you will start doing bad avatar. So once you're here, now all you gotta do is just add the USB drive to your console. Wait for the little spiral loading screen. And there it is. And you should see this little notification here. And look at the lights. Uh, if you see these lights going crazy, that means it's working. It's a good sign. Another sign is uh, if you move the, uh, you see the avatars. And uh, yeah, just it might take like either 10 seconds or like a minute at most. So just, we're just gonna wait here. And of course it's gonna be unedited. Just to show you what, what could happen. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the lights. So. Oh, you know what? This might be an error here because, um, yeah, sometimes this, this can happen when you're doing bad avatar. Um, it, there's like things the lights does, so it goes like up and there's like two lights down. And this is like the third stage where it's like three lights. Um, that's like one of the errors that can happen with bad avatar. So let me show you a fix to that. So we're going to restart the console uh, like this. So if the lights are like three lights and it's stuck like that for either like five or ten minutes um it can happen um literally just power off your console and just remove the usb and i'm going to show you the fix to this so what you want to do is turn your console back on oh i think i'll turn it off there we go turn it back on and once you're here in the sign in menu just pick any account so i'm just going to pick my main account here we go and just make sure it's gonna say no Xbox Live, which is good. Do not be online when doing bad avatar, bad update in general. And here's the fix. So just click the guide button, go to profile, and there should be an option here called uh, sign in preferences. And just make sure you have that profile set to auto on. So once that's done, just once you have that, just uh, restart the console. Once your console's powered on let's power it back on and now when you load your xbox it should just auto sign into the profile you made it set to so this is the fix slash um this is what i do pretty much every time i just set that profile to auto sign in and once the xbox launches to the dashboard it's going to auto sign in to my profile and then very quickly i go here sign in and out and press a and sign out so once it's signed out, grab their USB and plug it in. And then of course, uh, wait for the loading uh, symbol to show. And there is the notification. Now let's check those lights. So these are the lights. Again, make sure your consoles are frozen because it can freeze. So, so yeah. at most it could take like 10 seconds or, oh, look at that. There it goes. Once it's the and when it's all four rings boom and you can see the auto start working and uh yeah we are in we're in a bad update so i have it set to launch to aurora here should kick on to aurora there it is I have all my games loading in and there's aurora so again, I was able to redownload all my Rock Band games so I can safely play all of my Rock Band content with this update. And of course, turning back on the Wi-Fi. So I click the guide button, connect to Xbox Live, uh, click yes, and it's just set to your Wi-Fi thing. But for me, I have uh, Ethernet cable, so I'm just going to click that in. And I have internet here, or if not, just reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Um, now you can safely go back home. And for my home, it'll be the Aurora dashboard. There we go, Aurora dashboard. And again, if you're pretty much done, as you can see, I also have the Stealth server working. So if it's your first time doing the Stealth server, you might get like a 150 notification saying like, oh, 150 retry. And it might restart your whole console to your dashboard. If it does, it'll reboot to the regular dashboard with the blocks and the Xbox Series X ad screen. That happened to me when I was doing it. I forgot to record that. If that happens to you, I recommend you just remove the USB and turn off your console because as like a safety precaution. But other than that, 
the next time you load in and you see you should see like xp guard trying to launch online if you have that set to play online with your profile it'll work and if we click the guide button we oh connect to xbox live setting in and it says connected to xbox live so now i can play xbox live on my 360 with a bad avatar um working so i can play all of my backup games all of my dlc online safely of course don't do anything stupid like playing with mod menus or giving yourself all the achievements if you're smart play as you would like a regular xbox you will never get banned so don't please don't use mod menus or hacks or cheats or give yourself every achievement for any game so as you can see i have all of my guitar hero games uh even lego rock band here and rock band 2 and rock band 3 all working on aurora with bad uh, bad avatar working so yeah that's pretty much it um if anyone has any troubles hit me up in the comments and i will gladly try to help you as soon as i can um but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy my walkthrough slash tutorial for bad avatar again i i added all of my previous uh save files and dlc back into rock band 3 and 2 so i can play all of my dlc without you know rock band blitz i, I kept rock band blitz you can keep it but i don't need i no longer need rock band blitz to launch bad update so uh yeah that's pretty much it uh, i hope you guys enjoy my video and you have a good one. See ya.